In this video, we're going to see how a famous YouTuber destroyed his life because of his anime addiction. It is a story of Trey Eric Sessler, commonly known as Mr. Anime, who started off as a YouTube reviewer and mostly talked about video games, anime, and guns. Well, hey everybody, what's going on? It's Mr. Anime here. Trey Sessler was born on August 3rd, 1989, in Texas. Growing up, he didn't face many problems, and he never made any complaints about being bullied at school. Everything appeared to be going normal, until Trey turned 13 when he revealed his idea to his teacher. He intended to call 911 to complain about a shadow that was hovering outside his parents' house window. Then, after waiting for police to arrive at the given location, he would attack them with a baseball bat, take their gun, and flee to his friend's house to shoot him. Naturally, this caused alarm, and Trey was forced to visit a psychiatrist. However, nothing came of this, and the police and the school eventually dropped the case. At the age of 17, Trey created his first YouTube channel under the name Lens Cap Productions, where he posted short clips and bloopers primarily featuring himself, but occasionally also featuring his brother and parents. He created a new channel named Mr. Anime almost a year after starting the first one, changing the focus of its material to reviews of anime-related TV shows and motion pictures. He became successful because of this channel, and was known for his straightforwardness and honesty in his reviews which, at the time, set him above other reviewers who would always try to contradict the dominant perspective in the anime community. In the following five years, he posted more than 300 videos, and in 2011, his channel received over 1 million views, which was a huge number at the time. To try and break up the content on his channel during this period, he would still occasionally upload funny sketch videos, but these movies ended up being more scary than funny. Trey loved guns and began to include them in his skit videos, but these movies eventually evolved into full demonstration videos. There were no red flags in these films because he frequently condemned gun violence. He lived alone in his grandmother's house in Hempstead, Texas for most of 2011, as she had recently died, and he was safeguarding the home for the near future. However, a significant factor in his decision to move in there was the weakening of his relationship with his father, as a consequence of Trey's decision to leave college, which his father found objectionable. Living alone was giving him the opportunity to act as he likes. In this house, he often fantasized about causing harm to human life. He developed an obsession with infamous serial murderer Ted Bundy and historical school shooters like the Columbine shooters, who killed 12 students and a teacher before killing themselves. He started making plans about the school massacre by downloading a satellite map of his old school, Waller High School. It is deadly plan. He was going to drive his car through the gate and courtyard and start shooting as many people as he could with his 22 rifle. During this time, people started noticing odd things in his videos, where they claimed that he was practicing on real animals, including his own rabbit. Arguments between Trey, his brother, and his father increased significantly around the end of 2011, and were mainly focused on Trey's alcohol intake, which had gotten considerably worse. Because Trey thought his father saw him as a crazy, unstable lowlife who would never accomplish anything with his life, he revealed to a friend over the holidays that he intended to kill his father. But the reality of this father-son relationship was somehow different. Trey's father thought his son was a little lost and misguided, but still had hope for him. In February 2012, he posted a video titled Mr. Anime is Planning Something. On March 13, 2012, Trey would post his final video to the Mr. Anime channel, titled Mr. Anime's New Job in which he announced that he had been hired by a film production business after being headhunted for the position. Yeah, well, I have some pretty good news. It's not... Well, I have some kind of bad news, but it is good news. The good news is that I now have found a full-time job in a department that I'm uh, interested in, which is film. 
I'm still going to be doing the Google thing though, and I'm still going to be doing videos. So keep supporting Mr. Anime. I'll still be doing anime reviews, but probably not as many because this job will be full time. But thanks to all of y'all, I've been able to be recognized by some people, and I'm going to be doing some good stuff. His audience was unaware that the job offer was a lie. On March 19th, 2012, Trey had binge drunk all night long in his deceased grandmother's home. The next day, in the early hours, he drove over to his family's house fully armed. A neighbor reported strange noises coming from the house and called police. After killing his family, he went on his parents' phones and left sad voicemails stating that they wouldn't be showing up to work because they were dead. He then went to sleep next to his mother. He got out of bed, loaded his car with his rifle and more than a hundred rounds of ammunition, and drove to Weather High School. He sat in the school's parking lot for a bit before deciding to carry out the planned massacre. The police finally arrived at the residence after a second call from a family member asking for a welfare check because no one was answering their calls. The home had also been vandalized and broken glass could be seen in almost every room. Carvings were discovered on numerous of the house's doors and walls, confessing to his crime. I will never forgive myself. I don't know why I did this. Later that evening, Trey was arrested after being found at a friend's house in Magnolia, 21 miles away. Trey admitted to authorities that he was prepared to carry out his intentions to attack the school, and that the sole reason he killed his family was to spare them any suffering or embarrassment as a result of what he was about to do. The thing about my family is, um, I would protect them with my life, but um, at the same time, if anyone was going to hurt them, it was going to be me. His behavior during his police questioning looked odd. He would sometimes cry and confess his wrongdoing. Trey admitted that he was a loner who killed cattle and dogs. He was planning the killing of his family and the school massacre for several years. Police seized six firearms and ammunition of various calibers from his grandmother's property. Trey Eric Sessler pleaded a guilty plea on August 2, 2012, and was given a life sentence without the possibility of parole. Since then, he has displayed satisfaction with his current situation and acknowledged that prison is where he belongs. Gotta scratch myself to victory. In this video, you will get to know about the serial killer Ted Bundy, whose one silly mistake put him to death.